Hello and welcome to Eco Girl in a Modern World. My name is Shelley and this channel is dedicated to talking about ways to be more environmentally friendly in a modern context. Um, it's, uh, it's been a couple of weeks. I really appreciate the break. Uh, the, the weekend that I took off, I, I, it was the weekend of my birthday. And, um, and also since then, I have had a lot of eco events going on. So I appreciate a little bit of time to uh, participate in that. Um, during the break, I actually uh, co-hosted um, a, a program at, my, at a local library in my state. Uh, talking about alternatives to fast fashion and that was really exciting um, <clears throat> the other uh, person with whom I was presenting um, <clears throat> she works with a group called Helpsy and um, Helpsy is a group that takes what they call dead stock material it's leftover material that has not been used sometimes in decades it's like a, after a long time and um, they use that material to be repurposed like they take materials and turn it into either clothing or you know whatever whatever it can be repurposed into so it was it was a very it was a fun event I got a chance to learn a lot in spring they're going to be opening up um, a, a facility that actually tests the materials that they get so when the dead stock material comes in they kind of do a test to see what what the material is made of and um, they are actually opening a full full-size facility in um, in March of next year so we're gonna get a chance to visit and and talk to them and and see how that works so we've got some some um, some more uh, programming coming and and we'll be going on a field trip we'll be getting out of my room <laughs> so um, so that that's what I've been doing in this time off and it's been it's been most uh, most kind uh, to have the break um, also I have gotten some new equipment as well so you know during the time off I have I've gotten um, a small smaller video camera that can actually uh, go with me and um, so we can do more uh, definitely uh, we're going to be expanding on a lot of what the the content is and it's it's going to be a lot more engaging so I promise it will not be radio silence for much longer we are going to be posting a lot more and doing a lot more as we go into 2025. Now um, I wanted to hop on and just do a brief video uh, we are coming up on Halloween um, I feel like my post from last year was really fun. I mean, we talk about some heavy topics on this channel, but last year um, we talked about the the, the deadly ha Halloween colors and um, and you know uh, things to do during Halloween that are eco friendly. So I highly advise, please check out that video. It's still good, <laughs> and I'll post the link to it down below. But um, that one's a good one to revisit if you want something fun to watch. Um, I do all of the same things uh, that we described. You know, I try to. Um, I'm going to be going on some ghost tours with my friends and um, it's always good to you know um, try to um, enjoy the, the the videos that are coming out if you have um, I've again with streaming um, you can see a lot of new content and um, and what I like is a lot of the streaming channels kind of put it in levels of how scary you like it to be um, I definitely like reading ghost story books um, again I, I like to go on ghost tours in my state so there's a lot of times a lot of books that talk about the haunted places in your state so if, if that's something that you like to do but um, just like in last uh, year's video I always highly encourage and especially after going to the alternatives to fast fashion um, you know again the the five here on this channel we adhere to five eco rules um, we try not to buy you know synthetic fibers brand new uh, we try to be mindful of what you're buying um, don't just buy a bunch of decorations or buy a bunch of costumes with the expectation of wearing it once and just throwing it away that that's how we accumulate trash and pollution on our planet but um, one thing that we talked about last year and it still holds true is that when you go to shop try to look for your outfit secondhand try to get pieces that work together to make an outfit um, like for instance this was an example I think I used last year but it still still works um, it you know I saw um, this top that they had at anthropology it was 98% cotton 2% spandex I think so a majority natural fiber um, and what it looked like is it it looked like um, the you know if you want to dress up like Ariel from the Little Mermaid it kind of looked like that top 
and um, and the, I have a jean skirt that I love and adore. I'm actually wearing it right now. That's 100% cotton. It's vintage from the 80s, and I've I wore this skirt all the time. And paired with that top, it looks exactly like Ariel from Little Mermaid. And then later, after Halloween is over, you can pair that top with other things. You know, um, like here, this is how it looked on the mannequin in, in the store. So it, it's you know we're not saying don't dress up for Halloween, but if you do just you know go in with the expectation of reusing those pieces um, because you'd be amazed there's a lot of really creative outfits that you can piece together and you can be whatever character that you want um, without it being you know just like this this polyester <laughs> you know bought new and worn once that that we really want to avoid um, if you get pieces that you can really interchange um, and wear over and over again after Halloween is over that is ideal um, same thing goes with decorations um, I know it seems kind of cheesy I mean I'm an environmentalist but I honestly reuse the same decorations every single year um, my sister has a lot of really pretty wooden decorations I know that that sounds a little different but you know it's 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 cute her little coffee sign is a little Dracula and um and it's it's a wood um decoration um i also like the little boxes that some candy comes in i remember a couple years back i saw you know i got some um i think it was sour patch kids and it came in the cutest box and um you know and it's it's cardboard but you know and it's got a logo on it but i thought it was cute and i just keep the boxes and put it back out each year and i think it's adorable i don't think there's anything wrong with that um also you know reusing uh, stuffed animals. Um, believe it or not, I have a little Beanie Baby bat, and I know Beanie Baby's from the 90s, you know, and he looks brand new. His name's Batty, and I put him right on the, I put him on top of my television each year, right? So, um, and you could, you know, you can also transition it if you want to be able to move um, into autumn. Um, you know, I have some glass pumpkins that I like to put out also um there's uh i i saw i thought this was a really cool idea for an upcycle and i know this is crazy um if you remember back in my packaging video remember how i showed you how when you you take all the plastic tape off of a, of a box and you end up with this big ball of plastic that just ends up being thrown away i actually saw a meme that you know someone turned all of that Plast used plastic tape into a, a a ghost lady and you know if you have leftover you know plastic and you can you know kind of ball it ball it up and create a shape and you know and then put a light on the ground that shines into it i thought that was very clever so you could absolutely get very creative with uh with uh you know your halloween decorations you know instead of just throwing away why don't you try to upcycle it you know if you have a piece of styrofoam that looks like a you know that is white and looks like a tombstone you know there's ways that you can decorate without you know without buying new or buying you know you can reuse things and it actually comes out looking pretty cool uh, I know sometimes jewelry comes in with little little pieces of fluff if you kind of stretch that out it kind of looks uh, you can make that look like uh, spider webs um, and and again you're just kind of reusing you know things that have you know the packaging and other things that you have on hand uh, without having to you know buy new or, or you know throw things away um, so I, I've just, I'm, I'm seeing that a lot on online and I just think that's really neat. I think it's neat to get creative, um, with what, what decorations that you have. Um, the other thing is, of course, when you're attending Halloween parties, um, you know, again, if you're, if you're hosting a Halloween party, you don't, you don't need to have a bunch of plastic cups. You don't have to have, um, the real, you know, disposable things. Um, you can use reusable cups and, um, and I've, I've said before, you know, that I have a video here that talks about, you know, hosting parties. Um, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. If, um, if you use, you know, glassware or, or, or plastic cups that are reusable and you know you have a bin where the used cups go I feel like that not only keeps things really kind of tidy but it also you know you don't need to have a bunch of Dixie cups that are not not really recyclable um, you know honestly the recycling has its is very very limited 
Um, you can only recycle things about three to seven times if we're lucky. And then after that, you know, in even, even when it is recycled, only about 70% of it is recycled plastic. You still have to add about 30% new polymer in order to create a new product. So we really want to kind of get away from that all in, a, in entirety. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing tacky about having just you know, permanent mugs or permanent cups, and then just having a plastic bin that collects them when, when you're done with it. So, you know, or, you know, th that you, you take care of it as the host or hostess. Once everybody's done, you go around and collect it and put it into the sink. It's just, you know, it just goes a long way to be a lot more eco-friendly. Um, and of course, you know, uh, you can, you know, g get some creative recipes with stuff. I've seen, I've seen some really cute uh, cartoon uh, tree boards. I never say that right. That, you know, can look, look, uh, have Halloween themes and, um, you know, but it's all, it's the, de it's, you know, decorative with the food itself. Um, so that just makes it, it makes it festive without having a whole lot of, you know, uh, you know, kind of kitschy. Um, you know, one-time use waste. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it here and make it real quick, but I promise you we do have some fun content coming. Um, you know, in the next couple weeks we're going to be um, exploring more and um, doing more things. And, um, and of course, as you know, as the days get shorter, please get out, get outside and enjoy the, the, the turning leaves. Um, I actually went for a walk today and I saw a family of deer and it was so cute. The baby, the baby deer was just staring at me. <laughs> um, he didn't run away. He was still, they were grazing and, and getting full bellies for the winter, but, um, but it's definitely, um, motivational to get out and, and enjoy the weather while, while the leaves are turning. But I thank you so much for joining me, and I promise you there's more good things to come. If you like what you see here on this channel, I would be very, uh, I'd be very flattered if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.